evaluate integral 6x plus 5 root over 6 minus 2x square plus x dx. Now, this is in the form of p x plus q root of a x square plus b x plus c d x. So, now this 6 x plus 5 we have to write a into derivative of 6 minus 2 x square plus x plus b and a and b values we have to find out and separate the integrals then we have to integrate it in the previous just like previous problem itself only in the first problem as we have discussed. So, now let us say i is equal to integral 6 x plus 5 root of 6 minus 2 x square plus x dx. Consider this 6 x plus 5 is equal to a times d by dx of 6 minus 2 x square plus x plus b where a comma b are constants are to be evaluated. Now, this we can write a times 6 derivative is 0 this is minus 4 x plus 1 plus b equals to 6 x plus 5. Now, this is minus 4 a x plus a plus b equals to 6 x plus 5. Now, here how does it appear? This a plus b is absolutely constant. This is x coefficient is minus 4 a. So, equating coefficients on both sides, equating coefficients on both sides. So, minus 4 a is equal to 6, a equals to minus 6 by 4, 2 3 ja 2 2 ja minus 3 by 2. So, a equals to minus 3 by 2, this is the a value. What is a plus b? This a plus b is equal to obviously 5. So, a plus b equals to 5. As we know the a value replace here minus 3 by 2 plus b equals to 5, b is equal to 5 plus 3 by 2, this is 13 by 2. So, b value is 13 by 2. So, now let us write this one. Now, i can be written as integral 6 x plus 5 means a into it is a derivative we know minus 4 x plus 1. So, here a means minus 3 by 2 plus b, b means 13 by 2 this value that is root of 6 minus 2 x square plus x dx. So, now can we split this one? Yes, we can split it. This we can write minus 3 by 2 taken out and minus 4 x plus 1 multiplied by this root value root of 6 minus 2 x square plus x dx and plus 13 by 2 and integral root of 6 minus 2 x square plus x dx. Now, how does it appear this integral? This is the derivative of 6 minus 2 x square plus x. 
suppose if you say this is f of x this will be f dash x root f of x f dash x dx integral integral of root f of x f dash x dx. Let us say this is integral i 1. Now, we have the formula integral root f of x f dash x dx is equal to 2 f of x root f of x by 3. This is the formula. Using this formula, now we can write we can write minus 3 by 2 times 2 f of x means 6 minus 2x square plus x and root 6 minus 2x square plus x by 3 and plus 13 by 2 i 1 say equation 1. Okay. Now, what does it become? Just observe here 3, 3 gets cancelled, 2, 2 gets cancelled. We have minus of 6 minus 2 x square plus x root of 6 minus 2 x square plus x plus 13 by 2 i 1. No problem that is 1 only. Now, 1 now, I 1 separately we have to find out I 1. Let us find out I 1. I 1 is equal to integral root of 6 minus 2 x square plus x dx. Now, 6 minus 2 x square plus x we have to write in the form of x plus alpha whole square plus beta square or x plus plus or minus alpha whole square plus beta square form. So, consider 6 minus 2 x square plus x take minus 2 comma you get x square minus x by 2 minus 3 x coefficient is minus 1 by 2 numerical value that means absolute value is 1 by 2 and get it multiply with 1 by 2 that becomes 1 by 4 add 1 by 4 whole square subtract 1 by 4 whole square. So, minus 2 times x square minus x by 2 plus 1 by 4 whole square minus 3 minus 1 by 16. So, now So, this we can write minus 2 times x minus 1 by 4 whole square minus 49 by 16 take minus 1 by so multiply with each term with minus 1 2 times 49 by 16 that is 7 by 4 whole square minus x minus 1 by 4 whole square. Now, let us come to the i 1, let us evaluate integral that is root 2 comes outside root of 7 by 4 whole square minus x minus 1 by 4 whole square dx. Now, what sort of formula shall we apply in this one? This appears to be root of a square minus x square dx. Let us write the formula root over a square minus x square dx. This is x root of a square minus x square by 2 plus a square by 2 sin inverse x by a. This is the standard result we have. So, now this can be written root 2 times 
x means x minus 1 by 4, x minus 1 by 4 into root of 7 by 4 whole square minus x minus 1 by 4 whole square by 2 plus a square by 2 that is 49 by 16 by 2 sin inverse x minus 1 by 4 by that is 7 by 4. Okay. Let us simplify root 2 into this. So, root 2 into this becomes here that will be 6 minus 2 x square plus x this becomes. So, now we can write 4 x minus 1 by 8 root of 6 minus 2 x square plus x okay. plus this will be 49 root 2 by 32 sin inverse 4 x minus 1 by 7, but it is not the solution. Our ultimate goal is to evaluate the i value integral. So, therefore, i is equal to minus of 6 minus 2 x square plus x this is from 1 root of 6 minus 2 x square plus x plus 13 13 by 2 i 1 i 1 means total this has to be multiplied. So, that is 4 x minus 1 by 2 root of 6 minus 2 x square plus x and plus 49 root 2 by 32 sin inverse 4 x minus 1 by 7. So, now after simplification this is minus 6 minus 2 x square plus x root 6 minus 2 x square plus x plus 13 multiplied with 4 x minus 1 by 4 root of 6 minus 2 x square plus x. Now, plus 13 into 49 that is 27, 147 and 49, 7, 13, 637. Okay. 637 root 2 by 32 sin inverse 4 x minus 1 by 7 plus constant of integration.